This is the TCAP practice test. This is question number 55. A food manufacturer compared the cooking times for different frozen foods in a microwave oven to the cooking times in a conventional oven. A line of best fit for the data is y is equal to 0.5x plus 5. Which scatter plot best represents this data? Now, if we're given a formula, I'm definitely going to pay a lot of attention to it. In fact, I'm going to highlight it right here. Of course, it would help if I hadn't highlighted it so much that you can't see it. So maybe I'll just underline it instead. How about that? That's better. Now, when I have it in this form, this is slope-intercept form. So I'm going to circle the little thing with x, the whole thing. That's going to tell me what to do once I get started. That plus 5 is going to tell me what to start with. So I need to make a dot at plus 5. From here, I need to remember that 0.5 is the same as 1 half. So I'm going to remember when I have a slope that this number tells me whether to go up or down. And if it's plus, so I'm going to go up. And this one's going to tell me to go to the right. So starting at my 0.5 spot, I'm going to go up 1 and over 2. Then I'm going to go up 1 and over 2. Then I'm going to go up 1 and over 2. Then I'm going to go up 1 and over 2. I'm going to do that for a minute. And then I'm going to draw a line for myself and see if it looks like it covers a lot of the information. That's not too shabby. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm thinking 55 might be A. See how the, the point is that the dots are equally distributed around that line. So it looks like the line kind of goes up the middle. It's trying to like shoot through the middle. If I do the same thing over here to C, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Oops, the line didn't draw. See how most of the dots are either on the line or below the line? Not really a good analysis of the situation. Now you're going to have to take a mental picture right now because of the technology restraints that A looks like that and how beautiful it, it's organized. And we're going to go down and I'm going to look at B and D. So once again, I'm going to start at 5. I'm going to go up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. This is not looking promising at all because all the data is below the line. So it's not B and D up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Everything's below the line again. The only one that looked really good, like the line went right up the middle, was A. So the answer to number 55 is just A. So given this type of question, look for the equation, find your inner, where it hits that axis, whatever the number is by itself without the X, then convert the slope into a nice little line for yourself and look for the perfect answer that matches all your mathematical dreams.